Now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What well, might be right for you? I mean, I'm right for some. is born. All right, let me stop. If y'all know what song, if y'all know what theme song that song was, uh, which show that song was for, drop it in the comment section. But anyway, so after one of my recent Linda Ronstadt reactions. This song got recommended, right? Cool. So I type it in and I type it in on YouTube, but I kept seeing the Stone Ponies. I'm like, but y'all said it was Linda. And then I click on the video and I see it's Linda in the, the cover art. So I didn't know Linda was in another group. Or maybe I did and I just... And my terrible, uh, my terrible um, memory, I just forgot. But the Stone Ponies is who is who this song is credited to. Um, I, I just don't remember reading about Linda being in an, a group other than her being, you know, having the the Eagles as her backup. I, I don't really remember reading anything about her being in a in a band so i i gotta do research so the stone ponies all right also the stone ponies also linda ronstadt and the stone ponies and the stone ponies with linda ronstadt the, those are all the ways that you could call them uh, were a folk rock trio formed in Los Angeles consisting of Linda Ronstadt on vocals, Bobby Campbell on rhythm guitar and vocals, and Kenny Edwards, Edwards on lead, uh, lead guitar. Now, Kenny Edwards sounds familiar. Hmm, okay. Their recording include Ronstadt's first hit song, a cover of Mike... Naismith's different drum. Okay, so once again, this is another Linda Ronstadt cover. Um, and we already know that this song we're reacting to is a cover. So, gotcha. Um, hold up, y'all. This is my father right here. Let me make sure everything okay. Hold on. Hey, what's going on, Pop? Hey. Hey, uh, I'm up here at the shop. I have this little, you know, the gas. And you know, I'm going to do... Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And how long you said that that, that child been um has been doing that, and you you weren't sure for what what it was, right? What what caused it? Yeah. Nah. I, I'm not sure what caused it, but it's it's probably only been doing that for probably a week, if that. Like it, it just started. Right. And you know, like I said, it um. It, it'll hold most of the, the air in it. Like, you know, when I put air in it this morning, like, you, I know you probably ain't seen the light. It, it probably won't come yeah, back yeah, on. It, 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 it came on. It just came on. Oh, it just came on. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's probably getting worse then. But it usually hold hold the air, you know, all day. Um But uh, I, 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 I thought it was just a leak and maybe... It probably wouldn't even need a new one. I would just need to get a, a patch because I that's actually the side that I just got from, from. Cause that's the side that you got from from, from my man, right? Right, right. Oh, okay, okay. So I I, I know and ain't that's, nothing. That's really... the, um, I want to make sure that's the, the the right one on the on the on the on the back. Yeah, right passenger side. Yep, back passenger right. side. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let my man look at it and see, and see, you know, what he, what he think. That way, you know, whether it can be fixed or. Okay. That's a bet. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Let me know what he what he talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm up here now. Get ready. Get ready. Um. Get it checked. And you and what uh you you bring the uh shell uh. The shell game, right? Um, yeah. I, I I just stick with Exxon. You know the the Exxon is oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that guy did tell you the Exxon uh, Supreme. Yup, yup. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna 
Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's all I put in the joint. I don't yeah, need... that's what I'm thinking about the avocado. No, my pop told you just put that in sauce. Oh, you know that. Yeah. Especially dad now. Yeah, yup, yup. Yeah, that's all I do is exile. Yup. Okay, okay. I'm about to put in this joint. He told me, pull in and he gone. Yeah, look at the joint for me. Let me know what's, you know. What's, what's happening? Okay, that's a bet. That's a bet. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. Uh, let me know what he's talking about. All right, I hate you, bro. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um. So yeah, we already know that this is a cover. Uh. Okay. So even at this early stage, Ron Stat was showcasing her performances of an electric mix of songs, often from underappreciated songwriters requiring. A wide array of backing musicians. Gotcha. Uh, Linda and Bobby first met as teenagers in 1960 while performing gigs in and around Tucson, Arizona. With her older brother Peter and older sister Susie. Under the name The Three Ronstadt. Okay, so Linda was in a few groups. I don't, for whatever reason, I don't remember reading that when I researched her. Um, okay. They were signed to Capitol Records. Wow. But they only lasted three years. Y'all know I'm... Uh... Y'all know, uh... I, I'm, I want to know what happened while they broke up. I want to get straight to the drama. Uh, uh, it, it, it basically, it just seemed like, uh, wait, after different drum hit the charts, Bob Kimmel and Linda rounded up some more musicians and and the reformed Stone Ponies began touring with the Doors. Doors frontman Jim Morrison didn't endear himself to Ronstadt. She recalled, we thought they were a good band, but we didn't like the singer. After this tour, Kimmel also left the band. All right, so, I mean, damn. Just three years, just start, get a hit, and go. Uh, yeah, it basically sound like Linda got all the praise and the other two didn't like it. Damn. I mean, you can't... Uh, I don't know. It always work out that way, right? There's always a star. And, you know, uh, hey, man, uh, I, I get it. I get it. So, okay, the Stone Ponies. Um, I'm ready to hear this. Ready to hear this and uh, ready to get into it. Different drum. We know it's a cover. We'll do the song research, and hopefully they'll have the cover information as well. But um, let's check it out and see what's going on here.
I mean, again, I'm sure, and uh, you know, the guitar playing is is pretty good. It's it's good, but Linda is clearly the star here. I mean, I, I, you, you know, like. <laughs> It's, 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 it's just, some people just have that. They just have that star quality. You know what I mean? Like, when you think about it, think about it, right? A lot of the songs that we react from, from Linda, did very well, charted well, whatever. But, like, she doesn't have a lot of big, big number one hits. But she's regarded as one of the greatest of all time. Like, she just has it. Some people just have it. They don't need all the, 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 like, they just stand out in whatever space or room they are in. And Linda is just that person. I'll be quite honest with you. I'm almost kind of blanking out on the, on, on the, on the instrumentation and just hear Linda. And I, and maybe that's a mixing thing because her voice is very prominent in the instrumentation. It definitely sounds like. It's on a lower track. Like, it, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say they lowered the instrumentation or something. But her voice is just exploding right now. And the instrumentation is kind of, it's not as grand as her voice is coming off. But she's just, she's she's the star, man. I, I, but I feel bad they broke up. Linda killed that. She killed it. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to 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 look. Bobby and Kenny, all love and respect, man. I'm sure they were great musicians. But you were standing next to Linda Ronstadt. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, okay, let, let's start with the original version. A different drum written by Michael uh, Naismith, 1964. It was first recorded by the Northern Bluegrass Band, the Green Briar Boys, and included on their 1966 album, Better Late Than Never. All right. Naismith offered it to his group, The Monkees, but the producers of the TV show turned it down, though he did perform it did perform a short comic version of the song in one episode. The song is best known for the 1967 version credited to the Stone Ponies issued by Capitol Records, featuring a vocal performance by an up-and-coming 21-year-old singer Linda Ronstadt. It was Ronstadt's first hit single reaching number 13 on the Hot 100 as well as number 12 on the Cashbox magazine singles chart. Mmm... Ronstadt's version flips the gender references in Naismith's original lyrics, replacing girl with boy when describing her lover, but still referring to him being pretty. Uh, the album rendition offers a different stereo mix from the hit single, including a longer harpsichord bridge. Okay. Uh, 
Ronstadt later commented that she had been surprised and completely confused by the changed approach to the song and that even years later she perceived fear and a lack of confidence in her performance. Hmm. Jesus, everybody made a version to this song. Carrie Underwood is the only person I recognize, but all right. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Linda, Linda, she stole the show. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. What do you want me to say? Linda stole the show, man. Again, when you stand next to certain people in certain rooms, they just take over. You know what I mean? They just take over. Sorry, I, again, my dad still hit me up. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I feel bad for the. I feel bad for Bobby and Kenny. I do. I really do, because again, I'm sure they were great musicians. But you're standing next to Linda Ronstadt. I, 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 it's, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. You stand next to great people, and you just kind of get overlooked. But beautiful performance by Linda. Um, great song. Uh, again, because there's so many covers, I'm going to assume this was kind of like one of those just favorites from for everybody at the time. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually intrigued to kind of hear the original version. I might do that. But, um, yeah, another classic from Linda Ronstadt. I completely enjoyed it. Absolutely incredible. Can't wait to hear more. This is a very fun story time, too, in regards to learning the information about her earlier years and her first band, um, you know, outside of the Ron Stats. Uh, that's, that's a pretty crazy story. Pretty crazy story. Um, but y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Linda Ronstadt and the Stone Ponies. <laughs> Peace.